the wire midge emerger, we are now going to the emergent midge. Whereas the wire midge emerger is basically fished as a nymph, where you dead drifted along the bottom of the stream, the emergent midge gives you a few more options. It can be fished on the bottom, it can be fished in the middle of the water column, or it can be even fished in the surface film. To show you how I tie that, let's get started here. First we're going to start off with a 2x long nymph hook which has a ring eye. We're going to attach our thread, wrap back down onto the bend of the hook a little bit, and it's here where we're going to tie in some anal gills. For that what we're going to be using is some white CDC. So we'll take a CDC feather and you just kind of pull it against the grain. That way it makes it easier to know how many fibers you're pulling off. Once you do that, you just come in, snip off the excess, and you're ready to tie it in. That way you have a nice tie-in point. That one fiber there is a little long. And next we're ready for our body. The body is going to be made out of D-rib. D-rib, well by its very name, means that it's in the shape of a D. So before we tie this in, what I'm going to do is come in with my scissors and cut it at an angle. That way I won't have an, a little bump when I start to wrap the body forward. Now when I tie this in, I'm going to have that D or semicircular side facing towards me so that when I start wrapping it, it'll be on top of the hook shank. Since we're tying this on a fairly large size hook just so you can have a better view of it from this point of view camera, I'm going to add an underbody so I can create a taper from the tail of the fly up to the thorax. And to do that, what I'm going to be using is some microfly dry fly dubbing. So we'll just put a little bit of this dubbing on here. What, what this is going to do is help us build up the underbody a lot quicker versus just doing it by thread. And you can just take your thread and wrap over to make it even tighter, just like so. That ought to work. So we're going to start wrapping our D-rib. In the first wrap or two, you, you want to take it and kind of stretch it quite a bit. Again, it's stretched pretty good right there. Oop, that came unloose. Take it. Make sure you're adding quite a bit of tension. Now as we progress forward, I'm just slightly easing up on the tension a little bit. And the further I go, the less tension I'm using. And the more I take off the tension, I build in an automatic taper to the fly. Get it in the thorax area, and we're ready to tie this thing off. Cut off our body material. And we'll go back to about right there, about a quarter or a third back from the hook eye, and that's where we're going to start our thorax area. To begin with, we're going to tie in some medallion sheeting for the wing case. So I'll take some medallion sheeting, and I'll cut a slim strip of it. Cut that off, get that out of there. And we're going to tie that in there. Again, start on the side towards you. And as your thread goes over the top, it just molds the sheeting right around the hook shank, making it look a lot more natural. Then you're going to take your thread up to the hook eye. Here we're going to tie in the front gills, which again is going to match the tail, and that is white CDC. So we'll take a white CDC kind of pull it against the grain again, pull off some fibers from one side, 
and then just pull off the fibers from the other side. We're going to want the front gills to be a lot thicker than what we had in, as for the tail. Kind of group it together and tie it right behind the hook eye. Then we want to come in with our scissors and just trim off the excess. Make sure you don't have any scragglers in there. Get those out of there. And you want to pull out any loose fibers that might be hanging around in there. They just get in your way. Make sure all that CVC is tied down. Now we go up, go up to where we first tied in the CVC and we're going to tie in some wings. For the wings what I'm going to be using is again the medallion sheeting. You can use the clear or what I'm using here which is the light done. Strip that. And what we're going to do is tie it in spent right behind that white CVC. Just like so. Just one figure eight is all you need at the time. And then kind of tug on it. And what that does is take out all the wrinkles. Now we're set to form the thorax with some dubbing. We're going to use this microfly dry fly dubbing. And this is, happens to be the trico color, which has a little bit of brown mixed in with the black. So we'll just add a little bit here so we can build up a thorax. And just since we we're going to mainly be tying these in very small sizes, you know, say 18 to 24s. We're going to want that dubbing a little bit tighter than that. And to do that, all we have to do is take some dubbing wax, put it on our finger, kind of rub it between our fin index finger and our thumb, and then again come up to your dubbing and just twist over it. And you can just see how much tighter that automatically got. We're going to wrap our thorax just like so and we're going to add a little more dubbing just so we can finish off the fly here and when we finish off the fly what we're going to do is pull our wing case over the top tie it down, cut off our wing case. Now we're going to take these wings, get them away from that CVC there, and pull those straight back and we can dub right on over it. Now on smaller sizes you won't need to add this additional dubbing because the amount of thread you put in there on a size 24 will be more than enough. And we're going to lift up the CDC. Oop, get, just got a step ahead of myself here. So we'll back up a little bit. I want to add some legs in there. And for that we're going to use the partridge. So I'm going to select the partridge. And as you remembered from the last fly I just tied, the wire midi merger, I didn't quite use all the fibers. Well, this is the re remains of that feather. So I'll just even up the tips here, cut them off, and I'm going to place them on the underside of the fly and measure it so it's just a little bit longer than where we tied in the wing case. And just come over the top and tie them down. And we're going to come from the underside, push our thread out of the way so we don't cut that, and cut off that excess. Now that we have our legs in there, we're going to lift that CDC straight up and back, take our thread in there, make a few wraps. And what that does is splays the CDC out a little bit and kind of stands it up. And now we're ready to whip finish this thing off. 
You can use your fingers like I'm doing here, or you can use one of Stoneflies whip finishers. Just whip finish it off, and we're ready to take our thread off. To finish the fly up, we'll just pull all this white CDC forward, and we're going to trim it to the length of the hook eye. Make a snip. We'll come back to our tail, and we're going to cut that just as close as we can. Well, not as close as we can, but just so we have a little white tag of CDC there for our anal gill. Now we're going to trim the wing. For the wing, I'm going to cut it so it's right above the hook point, like so. And then I'm going to come in and just trim them down a little bit, making it look a lot more natural. And just to clean things up, you can come in and just trim your CDC at an angle a little bit right there and kind of round it off. Just taking that extra little step so it separate, will separate your flies from your buddies. Once you get all your trimming done, you have a great little emergent midge pattern.